Hey everybody, this is Pat MCC 007 from Archie's Nuts Productions, and we're here looking at Sony Vegas Movie Studio, and specifically we're using the HD Platinum version number 10. And I'm going to just show a very quick tutorial on how to pan on photographs. I'm going to drag into my uh, timeline a photograph of a uh, lighthouse, and you know it's very nice when I preview the lighthouse photo you have this picture but it's really a little bit boring and if you were going to string this into a slideshow presentation uh, you might want to do some some animation some moving of it and in this particular case i think you know the obvious temptation is to want to maybe pan up the uh the lighthouse so i'm going to show you how to do that so i'm going to click on uh the the uh, pan and crop button at the end of the timeline and it brings up the pan crop window and as you can see the frame frame is the same size as the picture so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor over the corner and I'm just going to drag it towards the center and what's happening as you can see I'm holding the aspect ratio um, I'm going to also shut off the uh, the grid snapping that makes it a little bit harder um, and anyway, so now you can see it's moving smoothly and I'm going to I'm going to reduce the frame size and then I'm going to move it. Now you can see it's only moving up and down. And that's because of this tool over to the left is moving Y only. And if I click it once, now I can move it in, in both X and Y directions. So with this, I'm going to select what you know looks like about the center of the lighthouse, but at the bottom. And then, um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a keyframe at that point. So... Just to go back and illustrate the point, you can see that my preview now is showing just the bottom of that picture. So uh, we're going to go back to the event pan and crop, and this time I want to I want to pan that that frame up the lighthouse so that it at the end of the the photograph in the slideshow it shows the top of it. And there's two ways that I can I can do that. One is I can move the timeline all the way to the end and in this case the the clip is five seconds long and I can add a keyframe by simply clicking the plus button or if I simply move this keyframe it'll automatically add one so I'm going to show you that since it's a little bit more interesting and before I do that I'm going to go back over to this movement control and I'm going to click it two times so now that my keyframe or my my viewing frame can only move vertically and that's how I'm going to get a nice vertical pan without wavering back and forth. So watch here in the bottom right corner as I pan up. And as soon as I move it, the uh, a keyframe marker is put. Now I'm adjusting the keyframe marker so that we're at the top of the lighthouse. So we've we've created two keyframes. I can close this out, and if I go back to the beginning of the photograph clip, you can see we're starting at the bottom. And if I hit the play button, it'll just slide us up to the top. And again, in a slideshow, it makes things a little bit more interesting. So anyway, that's it for this video tutorial. And we hope that you enjoyed it and maybe learned something. Uh, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.